Hello everyone. Hello. My name is Maud, I'm from Canada. My name is Paula, I'm from Slovakia. And today we're going to tell you more about the FLIP project. So our story started a few years ago in Belgium. I had been living there for six years. And I had just arrived in Paula's flat. And one morning I just uh, woke up and saw Maud in uh, my living room sleeping on the couch. Yeah, I was too lazy to go up to my room. The stairs were deadly. Um, we got along uh, really fast, we liked the same TV shows, we were both studying psychology and education at the same university. We laughed at the same stupid jokes, so anyways, uh, one night we were talking about how annoyed we were that we could never understand our Spanish neighbors at parties. Uh, and we were saying how we could never learn a new language because we're either studying or at the gym. The bus we took to the gym was always stuck in traffic. So we were saying how great it would be if everything was in the same place. Fitness classes, language classes, library, and even a smoothie shop. And that's how the idea behind Flit was born. When we saw it could actually be a possibility, we spent many evenings on the roof thinking about it and brainstorming uh, to make it a possibility. And then we moved to Bratislava to realize the project. So welcome in the result. This is our FLIT Center in Bratislava. FLIT uh, stands for FIT and FLUENT. And it's the uh, first place where you can learn a new language, have a good fitness classes, or do both in the same place. Since we both studied psychology, our method is based on the fact that when you exercise, your brain produces uh, some proteins and neurotransmitters which help with learning. And our team is composed by teachers and professionals, fitness trainers. So we operate on a very simple model. We want to empower people to reach their potential in three different spheres. Language, physical health and social sphere. If we take the language, for example, we start by providing information. So we invite university students or graduates to talk about the psychology of learning. Then, we identify potential problems with learning by getting feedback from people. And then we use our knowledge in psychology and neuroscience to find brain hacks to make it easier. For example, exercising helps with learning. The last component of the model is motivation. It takes a lot to stay motivated to keep working on yourself. So we created a sense of community where people are surrounded by others who have the same goals. We also help foreigners who are lost when arriving in Bratislava by offering Slovak classes, workshops, and an international environment for support. 